Hi there, I'm Michelle the Painter, and this is Cookies in Canvas for Kids. So today we're going to be painting bears who are fishing underneath this starry night sky. Um, this painting is inspired by one of the most famous painters of all time, Vincent van Gogh. Hello. And one of his most famous paintings, Starry Night. And I'm going to be eating my star-shaped chocolate chip cookies. So let's paint our canvas and eat our cookies. All right, so what we're gonna use for materials today is a stretched and primed 16 by 20 canvas. You can get this at any of your local craft stores or online, and of course you can switch up the size, but that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using acrylic paint today, and the colors I'm using are titanium white, ultramarine blue, Mars black, chrome yellow, burnt sienna, which I'll refer to as rust, and burnt umber, which I'll refer to as brown. And of course you can switch up those colors, but that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm using three brushes today. The, color, uh, the sizes are a number 14 filbert brush, a number 12 round brush, and a number zero round brush. And I'm gonna to refer to these probably throughout the process as small, medium, and large. So of course, you can switch up those sizes as well, but that's what I'm gonna be using. You'll want to have a cup of water for washing your brushes and a paper towel for drying your brushes. And in the description below, I'm going to be putting step-by-step uh, -step text instructions so you can print that if you want to. And I'm also going to be putting a downloadable image of the final painting. So you can print that and use it as a visual reference as you go along. And I'm also, in the description below, going to put a recipe for my super yummy star-shaped chocolate chip cookies. So you can certainly make these if you want and have your nice star inspired cookies to eat throughout the process. That's all you're going to need. All right, so what we're going to do for the first step, we're using our large um, filbert brush. We're going to be painting the, the base coat or the background. Um, this is going to be the background for the sky, the background for the water, so it's the entire canvas. We're gonna be using black, blue, and white. And I want my background to be darker at the top and kind of get a little bit lighter down at the bottom. So I'm gonna start with black and blue on my brush. And I'm gonna be using a left to right brush stroke. And I will not pick up black again. This is gonna be the only time that I pick up black. Um, and I used a good amount, but you don't wanna overwhelm the canvas with black. So if you if you find that it's too, too dark for you, you can certainly wash and dry your brush, but I'm gonna just kind of go with that. Next, I'm gonna pick up just blue, and I'm going to get this blue to intermingle with that upper really, really dark color that I just started. And you can see I'm using these left to right, almost like crisscrossy kind of motions because I want this to, to blend nicely together. And now I'm gonna pick up blue and white on my brush at the same time. I did not wash my brush. Um, I want these colors to look like they belong together and to make it look like this sky is just getting kind of lighter and lighter as it goes down my canvas. And now I'm just gonna to continue to pick up blue and white on my brush and using this kind of crisscross um, type motion. I am using a good amount of paint on my, on my brush so that way I can get these nice kind of long um, strokes and make sure that it, it blends in nicely together. I just put a little bit more blue on my brush as I'm coming down here. And I wanna get this all nice and um, covered. So I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. And if you wanted a little bit more black, feel free to, to add more black if you want it to be a little bit more gray. It's totally up to you. Um, your sky can be as dark as you want it to be. We're gonna be putting a whole bunch of bright stars on it later, so if you get it kinda of dark, that's all right. Whatever uh, color sky you want is fine by me. 
And now I'm just kind of going all the way down to the bottom here. Got a little bit of crunchy stuff in there. Maybe some of my cookie fell into my paint. And I'm just going all the way down to the bottom. And you just keep on keeping on until you get that whole canvas done. Some people like to paint the sides of the canvas um, as you go. That way when you're all done painting, it looks like a nice completed um, canvas and you don't have to put a frame around it or anything. But up for the demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna kind of do it right up to the edge here. And I'm going all the way down to the bottom. And when I'm all done, I'm just gonna kind of work out any really thick spots because I don't want this to take too, too long to dry. Um, and if you need to, in between steps, you can kind of just take a break so it dries a little bit, or you can even blow dry it um, if, you, if you feel like it's too, too wet. And that is gonna conclude this step. We are going to be using our medium brush for the next step. So when you get this sky all nice and finished, what you wanna do is put this big brush away in your water cup, take a bite of your delicious cookie or your snack or whatever you're having and get ready for the next step. All right, so what we're gonna do for the next step, we are using our medium number 12 round brush. We are gonna paint the boat and the colors I'm gonna use are white, brown, rust, and yellow. And what I'm gonna do, I wanna give myself kind of a base coat to my boat first. So I'm gonna use some white. I'm just gonna section it off. I'm gonna add a touch of yellow a touch of rust and maybe a touch of my brown and I'm just going to spin it up all together and what this is going to give me is a nice like creamy brown color um, and I'm going to use that as the base color for my boat and you can adjust it if you want it to be more on the rusty side you can certainly add that to it um, but this is what I'm going to use for my base coat and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw myself a horizontal line that's gonna be about maybe two or three inches up from the bottom of my canvas and maybe about two or three inches over from the left-hand side. And I'm just gonna kinda of draw a horizontal line that goes maybe about to the halfway point of your canvas. And then you're gonna draw these curved lines that go up on the right and up on the left and now you're gonna connect these two points with a curved line. So I'm gonna go from here, and then I'm gonna do this, and it's gonna connect here. And if it grows a little bit, it, that's totally fine. And I'm gonna paint it in. And this might resemble kind of the, the shape of maybe a banana-ish, <laughs> um, or like a, 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 a one of those wooden shoes from Holland. Um, your boat might be thick or tall, which is okay. Um, I'm going for kind of like a little canoe shape. Um, and while I have this color on my brush, because we're, we, we need a reflection in the water, so I'm just gonna kind of brush my brush left to right to get a little bit of this color in the water. And the last step I'm gonna do on the boat is I'm not washing my brush, I'm gonna pick up some of my brown on my brush and I'm going to add little streaks of the brown. This is going to make it look like it's a kind of a wood boat. And you can really make it as um, dark as you want or as light as you want. This is totally up to you. But I'm just adding some little streaks so it maybe looks like a little bit of a wood boat. And that is all I'm going to do for my boat. Um, the next step, we are going to use this same brush. So you're going to want to wash and dry this brush for the next step. All right, so what we're gonna do for the next step, we're using our number 12 brush, or our medium brush. We're gonna do the base coat for the bears. The colors I'm using are brown and rust, and I'm gonna use both of those colors on my brush at the same time. I'm gonna have two bears. I'm gonna have a bigger one on this side of my boat and a littler one on this side. And how I'm gonna do these bears is I'm gonna do the main shape um, as a tall oval. So I'm gonna make a line right at the base of my boat, touching my boat, because that's gonna be the base of the body that's behind the boat. And then I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna come up in a tall oval. I'm gonna color it in. 
And then I have to add a couple of little, I'm going to call them bumps, on, um, on the body so it kind of resembles the shape of a bear. So a bear has a big belly, so I'm going to put a big belly in through here. And you can have your belly as big as you want to. It has a face, like a little muzzle, almost like um, like a dog has a, has a muzzle. So I'm going to bump a little piece out right here. It has an ear, so I'm going to have a little ear at the top. And then it has to have an arm to go fishing with. So I'm going to put a little arm kind of going out like this. And maybe you puff out the end of it like it's got its... I don't know if they're paws or claws or bear, bear claws are the claws, but I think the hand is a paw, I think. I don't know. You can look it up if you want to. Um, and then I'm going to do another little one. This one's going to be over to the right. I'm going to do the same thing, but this one's going to be smaller. So I'm going to do a little line at the base of my boat. And if you bump into the boat a little bit, that's okay. Like I just did, I will correct that later. And then I'm going to do a tall um, oval, or the top of the oval. I'm going to color it in. I'm going to put a bump for the belly. Bump for the belly. And if you need to or want to use your small brush, because it's easier con to control on these small areas, feel free to do so. I'm going to bump out a little muzzle, just like that. I'm going to give it a little ear, just like that. And then I'm going to give it an arm to go fishing with. And there's my little arm to go fishing with. And that's all I'm going to do for this main coat on my bears. We're going to use the same uh, medium brush for the next step. So when you get the shape of your bears done, you can wash and dry this medium brush. Oh, and take a bite of your yummy cookie. All right, so here we go. This is kind of a big step. We're going to be using our medium brush to do the first coat of our wind, our water, and our stars, and we're just using white paint. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna do my water first because I wanna be able to see where that water is gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take white paint and I'm going to create, I'm not gonna hold my brush tight, I'm gonna just loosely go back and forth. So here I go. I'm gonna do almost like a horizon line or a water line between my boat and where that reflection was. And I'm just kind of dusting my brush left to right. And I'm gonna do a whole bunch of this in, the in this bottom area. I want some of that blue to still show. So I am um, reloading my brush often. I'm not covering up all of that brown from the boat reflection but I do want some of that blue to show. So that's gonna be the white in the water. Now I'm gonna do the wind. So this wind kind of comes over from the side and it swirls around and through here. And then there's another swirl that comes around here. Um, but if you don't get yours exactly as this swirls, this is just um, inspired by Starry Night. Um, the famous painting by Van Gogh, but you can certainly mend it to whatever way you want to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in from this left-hand side and I'm going to make myself a little swirl in through here. So that's going to start. And then I also have a swirl down here. So I'm going to kind of make myself a swirl and it doesn't have to be a really thick line. You can kind of almost have it like wispy. And then these two kind of connect. And then I'm just gonna keep loading my brush with white paint and getting this big area of wind on here. You can have this really, really bright. Um, you can have it faint in color, whatever you want. We are going to be adding other colors on top of it later. So know that it does not have to be um, perfectly executed, but you do want it to kind of have a good amount of white in there and you want to be able to see some of that background or some of the sky um, underneath it. So just, you know, have fun with this. I'm going to thicken up this little piece here. 
So I just added some more white to my brush. I'm bringing it just about down to that water's edge. And then I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around here. And so this, if you know, theoretically, this piece of wind just kind of goes right into this one. And you can really have fun, add as much as you want. And then when you get this part done, the wind, you're going to go ahead and add your stars. Now the original famous painting had 12 stars on it. So you could certainly make six if you, you know, have six people in your family or you could make 12 like the original painting. You just really want to have fun with it and do as many as you want. So the original painting had a big huge one right up here. This is like the star of the show. No pun intended, but a little pun intended. Um, and I'm gonna make it really, really white in the middle. And then as I go towards the edges of it, that's when my white paint come, becomes a little bit more wispy. And I have it, you know, a little bit less paint on my brush. And I just kind of get these fun swirls to go around that big middle part of the star. And then th that's, number one and then I have 11 more stars to go. So these are kind of placed about where the original ones were but you might want to place them somewhere else. Um, the main goal is to have a nice white center and then you want to have um, the almost like a glow around that star that kind of fades out into the sky. And again, you know, have fun with this. You can have really bright ones or you can have really tiny ones. You can really make this into your own starry night. It doesn't have to be just like the famous painting that we're all familiar with. This gets to be your version. That's the beautiful part about being an artist is you get to make things the way you like to look at them. So if you want to have 76 stars, you make 76 stars. And you might, instead of having these swirly ones, maybe you do actually the shape of a star, um, the five point star, like my cookie. Or maybe you just do little tiny twinkle dots, like, um, you know, just little tiny one little dot for a star. So you can, you know, like a galaxy kind of stars. You can certainly, um, make it into your, oops, I just got some brown on my brush. Hold the phone, I gotta wash my brush for a second, I got some brown on it. All right, um, so certainly make this into whatever you want. Maybe you have fun and you put a little starship or a, a flying UFO in your sky. So you can have, have as much fun with this as you want. Um, it's your painting, you enjoy the process. And I'm almost done here. I've got 11 stars as we speak. I'm gonna do my um, 12th one right now. And this one I'm gonna make go off the canvas a little bit. And again, make as many as you want, make them as big as you want. And I think that's gonna do it for that step for me. So the next step, we are gonna be using the small brush. So once you get all of your stars in place, you've got them as bright and as big as you want. You're gonna put this um, medium brush away in your water cup and you're gonna take out your small brush and get ready for the next step. All right, so what we're gonna do for the next step, we are using our small number zero round brush. We're gonna do the details on our bears. The colors that I'm gonna be using are black, rust, my cream color and maybe some brown too. Um, how I'm gonna start this is I'm gonna be using black paint on my small brush. I'm going to be doing a nose, a mouth, an eye, and a shadow to um, outline the arm. So here we go. I have a nose that's gonna go right about here. I have a mouth that's gonna go somewhere in here. I have an eye that comes pretty close to the um, top of the nose. So I'm just gonna do a round circle. I'm gonna outline the bottom part of my arm and the top part of my arm. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other there. So I have a little nose, 
a little mouth, a little eye. I'm going to outline the bottom part of my arm so you can imagine where it is. And then I'm going to quickly wash and dry my brush. And I'm going to put a little bit of my original cream color from my um, bow. And I'm going to put a little spot in the ear. A little spot in the ear. A little spot on top of the nose. A little spot on top of the nose. Then I'm not going to wash my brush and I'm just going to pick up rust. So right now I have that cream color and rust and I'm going to put fur on my bear. So I know that I've got a little bit of fur on the arm. Maybe going in that direction. And I'm not really pressing too hard or making this too dramatic. I just want this to, you know, make it look like I have a little bit of fur on my bear's body. And then I've got maybe a little bit. I'm just kind of making these little tiny brush strokes. Maybe I've got some on the face. And you can have fun with this. Maybe you want your bear to be a light colored bear. Maybe you um, add a lot of light fur as opposed to dark fur. Um, and the fur to me is just almost giving it the illusion of having like some fluffiness to it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, this is again just so it doesn't look too flat on the canvas. I just add in a little bit of um, you know lighter fur and if you want to when you're all done you can maybe, oops, that's going to be a, make the back of my, my um, bear a little bit bigger. And what I want to do is I don't want to color all that original brown. I want to leave some of it showing so that way it looks like it's got some dimension to it. Um, and if you want, you can use a little bit of that cream color and give a little sparkle in the eye. And I'm also going to use my cream color to fix this little boo-boo I did earlier. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown and I'm going to just do a reflection in that water. We're going to put um, more colors on top of this later, but this is just to, so it looks like you, you're seeing part of that bear reflection in the water. So you just go right below whatever that first bear is or wherever that bear is and just move your brush a little bit left to right. And you want this one to be a little bit longer or farther down your canvas so it looks like it's from the big bear. And that's all I'm going to do for the details on my bear, uh, bears. Uh, so when you're done, we are going to switch back to that medium brush. So you can put your small brush away in your water cup and take out your medium brush and get ready for the next step. All right, so what we're going to do for the next step, we are using our medium brush. We're going to be putting the color on our water, wind, and stars. The colors that I'm going to be using are white, yellow, and blue. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use my yellow and white first and put it in those designated areas and then I'll use my blue and white. So I know that all my stars are going to have a really yellow um, base to them. And we started with white in order for it to be really vibrant. So I just put yellow on my brush and I'm going to kind of color over a lot of the white areas that I already have on there. And if you go past the white area, that's okay. And if you have little white areas poking through, that's okay too. Oops, we're gonna work that in somehow. Um, all right, so we got an extra spot right here, yay. Um, so I'm gonna do predominantly my stars first with the yellow. And if you want it to be a little bit more light, you can add white to your brush and that's gonna to help to make it lighter and brighter. Um, and I'm just kind of quickly cruising through all of my stars and I will add a little bit in my wind part also. But right now, oops, got a little brown on my brush. So washing and drying my brush real quick. Um, so yellow and white and I'm still just kind of adding to these stars. I'm going to also add a little bit into my wind 
you you know you can add as much or as little into this wind part as you want of course i've got this new piece of wind which is going to work out just fun i'm going to put some yellow and white in my water because the water is reflecting whatever is above it so right now i'm adding some of this yellow and white to my water and it doesn't have to cover the whole thing because this is just meant to be reflecting some of these stars in the water so you really have fun with it and put as much on there as you want you can go right over some of your um, reflections of your bears because reflections can kind of work together and they kind of cross over one another and then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using blue and white and I'm not going to wash my brush because I know in the original painting there's all kinds of shades of blues and greens and yellows and whites so I didn't wash my brush um, I'm just going to start adding blue and whatever remnants are on my brush so blue and white is the new colors that I'm putting on my brush and I'm adding it to this center piece of wind and I'm going to add it to this area of the wind and then once I've got some you know as much blue and white as I want in the wind area then I'm going to add some into the sky too so that way I've got an assortment of maybe some pieces of you know darker wind or lighter wind maybe just filling up my sky and again have fun with this it doesn't it it's meant to be whatever you perceive it to be and as windy or as colorful as you want it to be. Um, if you do have too much of one color on your brush and you're, and you're wanting it to be more blue or more yellow or whatever the color may be and it's not working out for you, just wash and dry your brush because that's going to help you through this process if you've got extra colors on your brush and they're not coming off and you want them to, you can certainly just kind of wash and dry that brush. And you can see I'm just kind of having fun here, filling in some of these spots, filling in some of this area over here by my, by my bears. Um, I do want to make sure I have some of this darker blue represented in my water as well. So I'm going to go in a second and add some into my water. And then we're going to have just one or two more little steps to go before our masterpiece is complete but you can see I continue to you know modify mine and make it exactly as I want it to be um, which sometimes takes a little while when you are creating your own your own masterpiece you you just keep working at it until it is visually what you want it to be and I'm going to go right down into this water I added some more blue to my brush and now I'm adding a little bit more blue on top of here. And then once I have this all done, I am going to be um, switching brushes to my small brush and I will be preparing for the next step. Here I go, just fiddling away here. I should have a soundtrack of a fiddle because <laughs> I fiddle a lot on my canvases. Um, all right, so here we go. I'm going to go on to ooh, maybe a, maybe I want a little bit more up here. It's really tough to stop. All right, I'm done with that stuff. So the next step is going to be with your small brush. So put your medium brush away in your water cup and take out your small brush for the next step. All right, so what I'm going to be doing for the next step is I'm putting my fishing poles on. So the colors I'm going to be using are that original cream color and white. I'm going to use the cream color for the fishing pole and the white for the fishing line, so they look a little bit different. I want my little guy, I want his fishing pole to be at a lower angle than my big I don't know if this is mama bear or papa bear, but <laughs> who's ever fishing with a little guy, I want that pole to go up a little bit higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm using my small brush. I'm going to take a touch of water and thin out my color just a little bit. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can get a nice kind of even flow on my, on my brush and I can get a kind of a nice um, solid line. So I'm going to have my fishing pole maybe 
come out a little bit past my boat, the corner here, and I want it to come straight into my little guy's hand and maybe come out the other side. So here I go. I'm gonna start somewhere up here and I'm gonna keep my eye on the prize, which is the arm or the hand of my bear. And it's okay if you don't get this perfect. You can always correct it with a little bit of extra paint. Um, it's just about having fun. We don't need to get it super perfect. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my mama or papa bear here. And I'm gonna have this one come to about here. So maybe somewhere above your little guy and pretty high up in the air. And I want it to come you know, to the hand of my bear. So I'm gonna just kind of do this. I suppose you could use like a, um, you could draw it with a pencil first if you're a little bit nervous about making this line. And um, I use my pinky on the canvas to steady my hand. And you can tell mine is not perfect and that's okay. We're just having fun, enjoying the painting process. And then once I have that on there, I'm gonna wash and dry my brush a little bit and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the fishing line with white paint. So I took a little bit of water and I'm thinning out my white paint just a little bit with water so it's nice and thin. And then when I go to do the fishing line, I want it to come from here, go to the water, but I want it to have a little bit of a curve as if it's kind of just um, being blown by the wind a little bit. So here I go, I'm gonna start up. Whoops, there goes my brush. Hold on a second. I love it when I just drop my brush into other colors. All right, so here we go. I gotta reload my brush here, a little bit of white. And the trick is don't press hard. You can always come back and add a little bit of paint if you need to. And I'm just, and it's okay if it's a little bit thick, no worries. And I'm just gonna make it hit the water. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. And this one I'm gonna have kind of come down maybe behind the boat a little bit. You can have fun with it. It can go in behind the little guy's fishing pole. So again, I'm gonna kind of come right from the tip and you wanna kind of curve it just a little bit. And you can see I'm just kind of doing a little bit at a time. I'm gonna skip over that fishing pole. I'm gonna skip over the boat. And then I'm gonna make it hit the water. And then that's all I'm gonna do for my fishing poles. We have one last step to go, and it's gonna be with your medium brush. So when you get done your fishing poles, you can put your small brush away in your water cup and take out your medium brush and get ready for the next step. All right, so what we're gonna do for the next step is we are adding the moon inside of this big um, star and we're adding little dots in the center of these other stars. So in the original painting, and the reason why we're doing this is because the original painting of Starry Night, there was a crescent moon in this big one. So that's what we're gonna do. The way I'm gonna create the color that was in the original painting is I'm gonna take yellow, a little bit of rust, and a little bit of white, and mix them together. So you're going for kind of an orangey look to this. Um, if you need to add more of the rust, add more rust. If you need to add more yellow, add more yellow. You can kind of get it into whatever shade you would like. And whenever you get that shade that, that is appealing to you, you can take that color and create the crescent um, looks, the, the broken part of it is over on the right hand side. So what I do is I'm just going to take my brush and as I come around here, I push it harder and then I bring it up like that. And if it's too dark for you, what you can do is you can just add some yellow and white on top of it. You can really, you know, make it whatever shade you want you can kind of just keep working at it until it's exactly 
what you want it to be. Um, and then when you get that on there and it's, you know, whatever color you want it to be, you can take that same rusty yellowy combination and just make kind of dots in the center of these other stars. And that is the final step of this painting. So when you get done with that, what you're going to want to do is we have the finale on any good painting, um, which we do after the whole thing is done. So it has to be done with your small brush. So after you get this all done, wash and dry your small brush and get ready for that teeny tiny finale step. And of course, have a bite of your cookie too. All right, so the last step of any good painting, especially this masterpiece, is to sign it. So I'm gonna sign mine with my small brush with black paint. I usually sign mine in the bottom left or the bottom right. Today I'm gonna to sign mine in the bottom left. I'm gonna sign my initials, but you can certainly sign your full name. You can date it. You can put, a, you know, some people like to put a symbol. Whatever is your identifying mark is completely okay with me. And that is going to conclude this painting. I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you loved your yummy cookies. And I hope you made yourself a fun rendition of the most popular painting in the world. And you proudly hang it on your wall. And I look forward to painting and eating cookies with you again sometime.